the word of god is alive and powerful sharper than any two edged sword piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit and the joints and the marrow and it is a critic of thoughts and intents of the heart all scripture is god breathed and is profitable for doctrine for reproof for correction and for instruction in righteousness that the man of god might be mature thoroughly furnished unto all good works study to show thyself approved unto god a workman that needeth not to be ashamed rightly dividing the word of truth or accurately handling the word of truth in this unique dispensation of the church age we the believers being termed out as alekenicetesis have to know something to be noted as a doctrine of repentance if we do not have this doctrine of repentance or change of mind we would be no more to be compared to the standards of satan satan never repented for its sin in pride it thought it can be like the most high god but the judgment correlating with matthew 24 25 41 followed by isaiah 14 15 tells to us that how you will be put back into the unseen part to that unseen part which you have not known to that unseen part into the bottomless pit there will be your place and there you will be thrown down from the heavens the great reality of the word as we go along in this church age if we as believers in the lord and savior jesus christ do not really value the word of the lord if we do not really take the responsibility for our decisions that we are going through in this church age then it would be definitely a tough time for us to know the doctrine of repentance point number 1 taken from the page of 33 and 34 from the prodigal son published long back by robert bunker theme it goes like this the significance of the hebrew word nakam god is said to change his mind or repent about something in the context of the following passages genesis 66 exodus 32:14 judges 2:18 first samuel 15:35 Psalms 90:13, Jeremiah 15:6, Jeremiah 42:10, Amos 7:3 and Amos 7:6. Since God is immutable and does not change, these expressions are anthropopathisms which are designed to explain divine acts of discipline in terms of human attitudes and expressions. Hence, anthropopathisms are used for the communication of divine attitude and policy in man's language, which is called as the language of accommodation. The Greek verb metanoio, translated repent, means a complete change of mind and has no emotional connotation in it. Since metanoia and nakam are transitive verbs, they must have a subject and an object. and the subject changes his mind about some object in the context and further point number 5 the salvation use of metanoia in each case the unbeliever is the subject while the lord and savior jesus christ is the object in a few cases god the father is the object of repentance that is change of mind because he is the author of the divine plan the operation grace that is what matthew 12:41 mark 1:15 luke 13:5 15:7 luke 15:10 Luke 16:30 and 31, Acts 17:30, Acts 20:21, followed by 26:20, along with Hebrews 12:17, 2 Peter 3:9. The unbeliever does not repent towards sin, but towards the Savior. The salvation repentance is defined as a change of attitude towards Jesus Christ, our Lord, prior to our coterminous with salvation. the unbeliever cannot understand spiritual phenomena 
which is First Corinthians 2.14. So, Lord God, the Holy Spirit acts as a human spirit in the perception of the gospel, which is John 16.8-11, 2 Timothy 2.25. Lord God, the Holy Spirit makes the gospel both gnosis and epinosis in the soul of the unbeliever, thereby facilitating his change of attitude. The verb metanoia, which meant to say, is also used for believers in phase two in the following manner. Change of attitude towards human good, Hebrews 6, one, and change of attitude in reversionism towards doctrine, Second Corinthians 12.21, Revelation 2.5.16 and 22, followed by Revelation 3.19. We have one more, the Greek verb metamelomai is also translated repent, which is correct. This verb has an emotional connotation indicating regret or feeling sorry for something one has done. Four uses of metamelomai, regret of a previous action, Matthew 21.29, regret of Judas Iscariot, Matthew 27.3. Such regret occurs when an emotional reward, and this Emotional revolt and regard, regret has no spiritual connotation or advantage. No regrets on God's part regarding salvation and spiritual gifts, Romans 11, 29. No regrets on the Father's part regarding the appointment of Christ as High Priest, Hebrews 7, 21. Therefore, the noun metanoia, meaning change of mind, is used in the following passages, so that Acts 20, 21, Romans 2, 4, 2 Corinthians 7, 9 through 10, Hebrews 6, 1 and 6, 2, Followed by April 6, 1 and 6, followed by 2 Peter 3, 9. Reversionism is nothing but is the way of life of the believer chooses when he turns away from God's plan, will, and purpose. And furthermore, for his life and returns to a former belief, a former viewpoint, a former modus operandi, and the reversionist has not lost his salvation, but is under the influence of Satan's cosmic system. First Timothy 4, 1. We shall continue. Father, we are grateful for the privilege that was given to fellowship with the word. We pray that God get the Holy Spirit to land us in these things and make it a source of blessing and challenge our Lord, for we ask it in Christ's name, Father. Amen.